Hello, Aries viewers. I'm going to look into your situation. Now I might be getting messages about finances, about love. It's whatever the cards want to say, whatever the storyline is. Um, this could be a past person. This could be a new person coming in. So we'll just see what the cards want to say. We'll see what the story is. We've got pause, reflection, rest. choosing their words wisely, uh, planning their approach. So someone's taking, it seems like someone in this connection, this could be you or this could be your person. Someone's taking a moment out to just step back. Um, this could be someone that hurt you. This could be might be someone from your past that um, hurt you and is now regretting that decision. This could be an ex coming back around. But, and you know, take it as it resonates because this could also be a sister or a brother or some kind of family member. You know, it's the same energy group, but there's different variations of this story. So there's different specific channeled messages in here for everybody in this energy group. But what I'm feeling here is that someone's pausing, someone's reflecting. Someone, this might be a family member that you got into an argument with, possibly in the past. Maybe someone, a friend that you had a falling out with, you guys were very close Maybe you guys were best friends, but you haven't talked for a while. This could also be an ex for a lot of you. I just feel a lot of regret here, and I feel some guilt. I feel like someone is... Someone's reflecting. Someone's choosing their words wisely. Someone's planning their approach. They're wanting to come in and talk to you, but this person knows that they did you wrong, so they're a little bit nervous. They're afraid that you might just tell them off, that you might block them. Maybe some of you did block them. Um, and you unblocked them and now they're wondering, you know, did they're wondering if you unblocked them because you want to talk to them or if you just unblocked them, you know, just, just cause they're kind of, they're kind of overthinking things a little bit, but they are planning their approach. They are planning on coming in and giving you some kind of apology or some kind of uh, message. They want some kind of clarity and communication here. Yeah. Because they're missing you. This person did have a very deep connection to you. We have nostalgia and longing right here. And we have adventure, honeymoon, vacation. You guys might have traveled together. You might have like gone like out to the movies and out to, to restaurants and um, you know, maybe to, to other cities or other states. This person could also just be someone that lives at a distance or someone that owns a motorcycle or a scooter. Um, but this, you know, with adventure, honeymoon, vacation here, it's like this person is is wanting that with you. They're they're nostalgic. They're thinking about those times that they shared with you, and thinking about the potential that's here, and basically wishing it could just be you and them. Wishing they could just go on a vacation with you. There's a very deep psychic connection here too. We have dreams, visions, telepathy. There's some telepathic communication going on hesitation, mixed feelings. For some of you, this person is having dreams about you, but there could be some kind of third party energy involved. Um, that's making them, I feel like they might have, some of them might have some toxic people around them that's made them not trust their own feelings a little bit. Like it, it's because it's like that you have such a deep psychic connection. You know, we have dreams, visions, telepathic communication going on here between you two. You're picking up on their emotions. They're picking up on your emotions. But then we have hesitation and mixed feelings. So it's like this person, you know, feels your energy, but then they, they kind of second guess themselves. Like, is that really his or her energy I'm feeling? Is, is that, is this real? Uh, are these dreams real? Can these dreams be trusted? Like they're feeling the psychic connection, but maybe they're not quite used to it. So they're still starting to open up and really accept and embrace, you know, the fact that this is a soulmate or twin flame connection. Maybe they didn't really believe in soulmates and twin flames before your connection. And now they do. So some of them might be actually like Googling and looking up twin flames and, um, you know, doing some research to, to really, you know, get a grasp of this connection. I think this person likes control. And so having a strong psychic connection like this, you know, it's like you have the opposite of control with psychic connections because it's like you just have a dream and it's like out of nowhere, it could, it could throw this person off and they don't fully know what to make of this. Maybe this person was more logical in the past or they're more logical around most people, but you kind of bring out their more emotional, more uh, like psychic, intuitive side, like they're more you know, kind of softer energy. 
So they're still kind of, you know, still grasping these energies, still trying to figure out what to make of this. Some of them might have had prophetic dreams about you. Maybe even recently, you guys might be doing a lot in the 5D, um, like psychically communicating. But I just feel like there might be toxic people around them. Maybe, um, maybe in their family, they were taught not to believe in psychics, or maybe they have like a very like religious family that thinks that that stuff is, is evil. They don't, they're, they're very closed minded to it. They don't understand it, or they could just have friends. Um, or even like a jealous karmic or someone around them or people that just like doubt, you know, doubt the psychic world or they're not really in tune with that kind of thing. So it seems like maybe, you know, there's just some doubts and I'm just getting that these doubts stem from other people. It stems from like family or friends or a toxic jealous karmic that wants to make this masculine or feminine doubt this connection. But um, but your person is psychic. Your person is very intuitive. They've just been mis misled by toxic people around them. And it's kind of someone who's very impressionable, I feel, where it's like this person knows that they're psychic, but maybe the people around them made them doubt themselves, like made them kind of, you know, kind of dragged them down, kind of made them feel insecure, made them doubt their intuition. This could be someone that maybe in childhood was extremely intuitive, like a, a, a child that... Um, you know, could see spirits or talk to spirits, but their family, you know, maybe threatened to take them to a shrink or something like that, or their family was religious and said, you know, you better stop that. You know, this isn't real. Your imagination's overactive. Just something, I'm just getting for some of these people that there was something really disheartening that happened in their childhood where they had the chance to go down this, this spiritual path and, um, you know, really explore their psychic abilities from a young age, but somebody in their family or someone that they knew cut that off early on and made them doubt themselves and made them insecure and kind of took them off their spiritual path a little bit. And I feel like with this connection with you, it's like you bring out their adventurous side, you bring out that romantic, intuitive, emotional side. So they're able to finally get back in touch with their intuition and with this this energy that they had suppressed. So for some of them, they're going through a dark night of the soul and also a psychic awakening. And it's a little bit overwhelming for some of them. You know what I mean? Like they had suppressed this energy for so long that they're not sure what to make of it. They're like, okay, this is like, I didn't think I would be coming back to this. I didn't think I'd be having, you know, maybe they used to have psychic dreams years ago and they shut them out and now they're having them again because of the nature of your connection um, so they're really just trying to grasp this and figure out what to make of it because like I said, a lot of people around them have been toxic and have been, you know, tried to tried to block them from using their intuition and, and their spiritual gifts. Some of them were actually jealous of their spiritual gifts and jealous of their their spiritual path. Like some of you have people that were um like shamans in their past lives or like ancient witches in their past lives, like like very spiritual people. And um you know, keep in mind that, you know, with communication, it's it's not it's not all verbal. A lot of it is body language. It is intuitive. So for some of these people, it's like that, you know, their friends or family or karmics or whoever were kind of, you know, kind of sense this energy. They sense that there was something powerful and spiritual about your person or this could be about you. Take it as it resonates. Um, but someone here was jealous of someone else's ability, someone else's psychic power, spiritual power, um, past, you know, this is a very old soul. So someone was jealous of that and tried to take this person off their path a little bit and tried to block them from their abilities. But I'm seeing that your connection with this person is, um, is, is bringing these psychic abilities and these dreams, visions, telepathic communication back up. And it could be vice versa. It could be, you know, maybe you suppress these abilities and you just met someone or you're about to meet someone who's going to get you back in touch with this side of yourself. So take it as it resonates. But, um, but yeah, this person is what I'm getting is that whoever this is, whether it's you or your person, the person that I'm channeling here is really, um, really learning to use their intuition and trust their intuition again. They're really, I'm, I'm getting in that major energy here that they're really getting back in touch with this energy of dreams, visions, telepathy. They're really, um, you know, they have some hesitation and mixed feelings because they're, they're trying to figure out what to make of it. It's kind of almost startled them, almost shocked them. Like maybe they, like I said, maybe they suppressed the dreams and they didn't think they'd ever have dreams, prophetic dreams like that again. And now they are again. And they're like, okay, do I want this? Am I okay with this? Does this scare me? Should I get back on my spiritual path and, you know, step into my power? Or should I listen to the toxic, jealous people around me 
who are overly logical and, um, you know, see things in black and white and want to, you know, want me to fit into society or do I go down my own path, my own spiritual path, even if it means standing apart from the crowd. So this person's asking themselves these questions right now. It's a really beautiful reading though, because you're, you know, this is like, this is like soul searching right here. It's very, yeah, this person's being vulnerable. They're being receptive. They're being open. Yeah, because they've been submissive. Let me see. Submissive, weak-willed. We have open, honest communication message. Yeah, I feel like the more that they get on their spiritual path, the more they're going to go against what toxic friends and family and whoever else wants. They're going to start going against those energies and they're going to listen to their own intuition and they're going to want to send you this message. They're going to want this open, honest communication. Maybe they have toxic people around them too that kind of taught them to be a hustler or like taught them, you know, could be like a very, um, could be like a macho male figure in this person's life too. This could be a friend. This could be like a father or a brother, whoever, you know, however it plays out, there's going to be different variations of the story. But for some, there's someone in their life, and this could be a woman too. It doesn't have to be male. It's, it's, you know, this applies to the LGBT community as well. You know, this is just take the energies as they resonate. There's no, there's no assigned genders here or anything like that. You know, it could be a woman that's in this very masculine kind of macho energy or someone in the LGBT community, however it plays out. But, um, but what I'm getting is that it's, it's this figure that, um, maybe taught them that feelings are for the weak, you know, feelings are for sissies, boys don't cry, or it could be, you know, if it's a female, it could be like, oh, you know, men are, men are crap. So, you know, you have to, you have to watch your back. You just someone that's very bitter, very, um, kind of macho, very cold hearted that rubbed off on this person a little bit is what I'm feeling. And, um, you know, this person is now learning to be vulnerable and emotional again, even though maybe in childhood they were taught not to be. But your energy and your healing support and your love for them is teaching them to be emotional again and teaching them to be vulnerable again and teaching them to finally trust their intuition again. And that's in turn is making them want to send this open, honest communication. It's making them want to be a better person, a different person. It's making them want to be vulnerable and open and honest with you. It's making them want to um, say and do things that they wouldn't do with most people. Yeah, because you're pulling them in with your energy. You know, they've been stagnant and it's like you're getting them out of that stagnancy. I feel like for some, they are spying on you just because, like I said, they're they're not sure what to say. Like, you know, like I was saying in the beginning of the reading, some of them don't know if they still have an opening with you or not. Some of them might be... Um, you know, worried about what you're going to say. Like maybe, maybe this person's family or friends kind of influenced their decision to separate from you or they kind of rubbed off on them the wrong way. And so it's like, they were almost like channeling an, uh, like a father figure or some kind of toxic male, uh, or masculine figure in their lives or someone that they know it's like this, almost like they have like this suppressed anger or bitterness or something. And it's like, they, they projected that onto you, but it's coming from someone else. Does that make sense? Like someone maybe traumatized them or hurt them or kind of just rubbed off on them and got in their head. And then they projected that onto you. Like you were the, the victim of their anger or their confusion or them, their insecurity. And now they're feeling guilt and regret for that. And they're wanting to change this around. And I feel like a lot of them have been kind of stagnant. They have been spying. They have been kind of wanting to take it slow and get to know you all over again. A lot of them are just not sure if you're if you'll forgive them, if you'll understand where they were coming from. Um, I do see a lot of them are getting help for this though. Like some of them are getting counseling or they're talking to someone that they trust about everything. Like they're venting about everything and kind of saying like, hey, like I think I learned this toxic behavior in childhood or I think that I think this toxic friend I have around me is rubbing off on me and I want to do better. I don't want to let them control my emotions anymore. This could also be a karmic. If this is like a third party situation, this could be a karmic partner that's just stressing them out and being obsessive and just absolutely psychotic with them. And your person might be kind of at that breaking point and maybe they took it out on you. And now I'm just getting whoever this is to you that they have a lot of regrets about that and they really are working on changing. 
and they are spying on you. They could be watching you on social media and they are working up the courage and assertiveness to move forward um, and to communicate with you. They're wanting that honesty, the vulnerability. They're wanting to apologize. They're trying to manifest this back. Some of them are using witchcraft to manifest you back. They're, they're trying to, they want it. They know they need to apologize and they're trying to manifest the, um, the power to do that because they do see you as beautiful and mysterious and enchanting. You just have this light about you. You can see this light here and that light is encouraging them to be courageous and move forward here and um, give you some kind of honesty and some kind of communication. So I'm going to get some specific messages really quick. If this is your reading and you would like a paid private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com, but you can, for the spelling, you can just check the description box and just copy and paste it and send me an email. I do paid private readings. I am actually doing $40 readings this month only, or this week only, sorry, not this month, just this week. Um, it's a 30 plus minute video reading, so I can go in detail into all these different energies and look more in depth into your personal situation <laughs> let me get a few specific messages here just really quickly and any donations are appreciated too my donation links are also below in the description box but let's just get a few specific messages here really quick everybody knows now I'm done running. Yeah. I feel like this person might have like maybe lied to people about your connection or like hid the connection, maybe from a karmic or from toxic people. Maybe someone told them like, oh, relationships are relationships are just going to get you hurt or, you know, you need to focus on this or that. Like people told them how to be, how to feel, how to think. People were trying to control them and now they're taking their power back and they've told someone or multiple people around them like, hey, I love this person. I want them in my life. I don't care. Maybe they, maybe there's like people, maybe it's like the like the social circle where certain people don't like you. And so in the past they lied and pretended like they weren't talking you, to you because they wanted to keep up appearances and they didn't want the drama. But now they're willing to go through the drama because they miss you and they know what they've lost. So everyone knows now they're telling people that they're done running from this, that they choose love over money, over what society thinks, what society wants. I'm coming over. Yeah, someone wants to come over. Yeah, this could be a life partner for some of you. This could be like your person. This could be your twin flame or your soulmate. Mar this could lead to marriage. This is a beautiful energy right here. This is a beautiful energy. Yeah, the situation, it's, I think there was more, go the situation's more complex than it seems. I think there's just more going on in the situation than you realize. Like there's more going on behind the scenes, like, on, at the, on the surface level, it seemed very, like, confusing for you at the time. Like, maybe when this person shut you out, it seemed, like, really confused. Like, they ghosted you or it seemed, like, confusing. Like, you didn't know what was going on. But this person's kind of saying, like, there was more going on behind the scenes. And I'm sorry for that. I should have been honest with you and let you know what was going on. And I want to come over and talk to you and let you know. Um, I like how my cards just try to get sexual. Do you see that? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, this person wants this person wants to um well they want to do they want to do a lot, let me say that. But um they they want to be honest with you and let you know what was going on at the time that they distanced themselves from from you. Some of them there might have been actual jail time for some of them. Some of them might have literally gone to jail and not told you about that because they didn't want you to judge them. Like some of them just disappeared for a couple months and you're like, where the hell did they go? And they popped back up and you were kind of pissed and confused because it seems like they were totally in love with you and they disappeared. And some of them were just humiliated. They didn't want to let you know that they had gone to jail for something. Like maybe they did something illegal and they want to come confess that. For, for the majority of you though, I think it's a specific message for a few people, but for the majority of you, I think this is more like mental imprisonment. Like they were kind of lost in their head in the past. Yeah, this person's very like emotional about this connection. This person's crying about you. Yeah, they discovered the truth about something. 
could be about about maybe maybe they maybe they went down that path for a while where they were kind of trying to forget you and now they realize it's not going to work. Um, they might have also discovered that someone they looked up to is is not as well put together as they thought. Like magic. Some of you are doing healing and uncrossing work on them and it's working. It's showing the truth about someone who's a scam artist, someone who's not all they seem to be. This is a very specific message for someone. Court case. Yeah, there's a court case. Something coming to light in a court case for a few of you. Could be involving two men. And there might be travel involved here. This person might be taking an airplane or a bus or a train to come see you. Yeah, someone's highly motivated to come see you is what I'm feeling. Okay, let's get two more. Like I said, if this is your if this is your story and you'd like a private reading, um, just send me an email. And I, I can go more in depth into this for you. Um, any donations are appreciated. And please subscribe if this resonates too. You know, please share these videos out because maybe someone that you know needs these messages as well. Please share these on social media. Um, subscribe if it resonates, you know, because I do these regularly. I also do regular third party readings. So there's there's a mix of things on this channel now. I do the I do the zodiac readings and I also do third party readings and I'll probably be doing some financial readings as well. So there's gonna be a whole mix of different things on this channel. So please keep that in mind. You know, if you like things just one certain way, this is going to be a very diverse, this is a very diverse channel. Um, someone's watching you on YouTube. Yeah, it could be a toxic friend of me even watching you on YouTube. Um, or TikTok. Or social media or something. Yeah, but you'll have good karma here, so you don't even need to worry. Because they can't touch you. They're jealous, but they can't touch you this week. Hmm. I feel like good karma is coming to you this week, this week and last week. Okay, so I'm kind of getting like last, like in the past, recent past, I was a toxic friend. This is for a specific message for someone, but you know what? Like you have good karma for dealing with this and you're, you're having some blessings come in this week. Yeah, which in, includes your true love. You might have someone messaging you this week. They're afraid of being rejected, but I really feel like... Some of them are worried about you, but they're wanting to talk. They're wanting to reach out. Yeah, there could have been like a power struggle with someone here. Someone that wanted fame. Um, or they're feeling like you're in a power struggle and they're worried about you. Yeah, a power struggle with an authority figure. Could be someone that you need to shut out. But this is some for someone specific. So let me just get to it really quick and wrap this up. Yeah, it could be legal issues. Yeah, someone's someone knows you have it have it going on and they're trying to pull cards and look into you. This could be a brother or sister for some of you, or someone that was like a brother or like a sister to you. Someone that's kind of like toxic, but they're also hurt and wanting to come back around and talk to you and kind of spying on you. But that's just a, that's a specific message for one person here is what I'm getting. But anyway, if you'd like a private reading, just send me an email. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe.